Hello, hello, Jeff Elvin here with the Lori Ballin team and Ballin Brands at your command. And today I'm gonna to show you how to send out an email campaign to certain contacts in your database. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is I wanna show you where that's at. We're gonna go over here to campaigns, little megaphone icon there. I click on that and then it pulls up our main campaign screen. So that's gonna include our paid Facebook ads, email campaigns, direct mail, social posts, um, basically all of those particular things. But in this case, I'm gonna click on emails and you'll see in here, I don't, this is kind of my test app here, so I don't already have any setup. If I had already set some or if I'd already um, sent any campaign emails out, they would show up here to kind of show some stats and things of that nature as well. But in this case, I'm gonna show you how to send one. Now, the first thing we can do is we could actually click on create campaign and choose to go down that route. But one of the things that we do when we're creating an email campaign is we actually end up having to select a design that we already have set up um, in order to attach that to the campaign. So the campaign itself is uh, basically who, who are we sending it to, like our list and what the from address is and what the uh, subject line is, but the email itself is actually fed through designs. So uh, one thing I recommend is that we build the email first before we go in and actually set up the campaign. So in order to do that, we're gonna go over here instead to designs. We're gonna click on create design and we're gonna choose email. Okay, so I'm gonna hit continue. And these are some of the default, um, basically emails that we can send out through command. Um, unfortunately, there isn't like a preview of each one, so you don't have, without just knowing which one's which, you wouldn't necessarily know. So you might wanna spend some time just once to kind of go through and pick out ones that you like in, partic in particular. So I'm gonna click, let's say, approachable newsletter A. All right, so I click that option. It's highlighted now, and I'm gonna go ahead and click next. And what that does is it pulls up our design template. So in this particular case, it's very simple. It's just an image at the top. It's got a little headline copy, quick little thing, and then a link in order to uh, send them somewhere. So let's say that's all we're trying to do. Let's say maybe we have a, a new open house or um, a new listing that just hit the market. So I just wanna send this to maybe all of our buyers, for example. Okay, so what I can do is I can go in and customize each of these things. Um, I can uh, you know, click the little edit icon, choose a different image to upload, things of that nature, okay? I'm not gonna get too much into designing the email itself because it's more. this video is more focused on the campaign, um, but just wanted to show you what we're doing there. So I'm gonna do the headline copy and then I can change the text, all that good stuff. So let's say I'm good with, you know, I've made these little tweaks and I'm ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and click save. All right, let's give it a name actually. Let's name this one uh, new, uh, what are we gonna call this? New listing alert. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and save that. All right, so it says it was updated in the My Design templates. Great, so now that I have created the actual email that I wanna send out, I'll go ahead and make sure all the changes are saved and you'll see this new listing alert here. So now I'm gonna go back to uh, campaigns I can click on emails, but I don't have to actually. This create campaign is actually gonna make me choose anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on create campaign and I'm going to do email. And then what am I trying to do? So in this case, we'll say um, new listing alert for one, two, three Main Street. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm advertising the listing. This doesn't actually mean anything as far as like what you're gonna see on the next page. It's just a way to kind of organize what it is that you're trying to do. So um, advertise a listing, attract new listings, attract talent. Uh, it's just a way to kind of track because you might at some point try to um, you know measure, right? And compare these to each other. And this also helps tell uh, national, you know, KW National here on, like it helps give them information on maybe what's working, what's not working. So they'll ultimately feed that information back to us who have not tried it yet. Um, so then we have the option to run it through command email, or if you have MailChimp integrated, um, you can do the MailChimp thing. So in this case, we're, we're gonna focus on command email, not a third party thing. So have command email, and I'm gonna go ahead and click on create campaign. So what this does is it pulls up our, basically our, our options here. Now
Now I could go to select design right now and select it, uh, but it also is gonna make us do it down here if we don't. So I'm just gonna go through these steps here on the left-hand side. If I decided like, oh, you know what? This was a different goal. I could actually choose it right here. So I don't, it's not committed. And again, it doesn't change anything else on this page. Um, and then what's the campaign name? So I'll leave it the name that I gave it. This isn't like a subject line or isn't something that gets displayed publicly. So it's whatever, whatever we wanna name it to make sure we understand which campaign that was. Um, it shows here which account that it's connected to. If you had multiple accounts, I'd be able to drop that down and select multiple. But in this case, it's just my own account. And then send to. So here's your option to choose the recipient list. Now, if you haven't already created a list, we can actually do that here on the fly. So let's say, for example, the list name is going to be buyers, right? Anybody that's a buyer. Um, so I'm gonna click on buyers, and then I can add individual names to this. This is pulling up my whole database. Or I can filter it by tags. So in this case, I'm gonna do the buyer or buyers tag. We have two in here. Um, so I'm just going to choose those. And so now it shows basically all the, you know, people tagged as buyer or buyers. And then I'm going to click on select all. So this ultimately is creating my list. Okay. Now, one thing to remember, just a kind of little list management note is if they're a buyer, but they're a past client now, then you have to be careful with how we're building these lists because this would pull up also people who, you know, are already dead leads or things like that. So you wanna make sure we have the right, you might actually wanna create a newsletter list or a buyer newsletter tag or something like that um, where we can select that way if, if we're really trying to keep our list organized because by just using the tag buyer, um, again, it could be a buyer but a past client, right? They were a buyer, so we've marked them as a buyer, but you know, if we keep that tag on there even after they're a past client, then obviously this is gonna generate kind of a wonky list for us. but. We're going to pretend this is all exactly the way it's supposed to be here for the sake of the video. And I'm going to go ahead and click on confirm. All right. So once I confirm that, it pops in the recipient list. I can now select buyers. Okay. So that is an option here. Like I said, so that's who I want to send it to is the buyers. Now who it's sending from, this is already configured from my... Um, from my settings. So if I click on that, it'll actually take me over to settings and let me choose them there. But in this case, it's all configured correctly. And I'm gonna give it a subject line. So new listing alert for one, two, three, Main Street. Now, we might wanna say in the subject line, this is what they are gonna see, your visitors are gonna, or your uh, recipients are gonna see. Maybe we wanna change it to um, don't miss this new property or act fast, right, act now. Uh, keep in mind with the subject lines, we wanna keep them uh, you know, we don't want it to be spammy because they might end up in the spam filters. So we want to make sure it's a relevant, like effective, uh, kind of forthcoming subject line. Uh, if we get too gimmicky with it, they might land a lot in the uh, spam bots or in the, in the spam folders. All right, so I've got that there. Now I'm going to select design. You see that here? So this is where by already having the design, it makes this process a lot quicker. So I'm going to click select design and it pulls up our options. So I choose that. Now what it does by default is it does pull it up for me. Now, for some reason, it's a little wonky right now. Um, it doesn't load in here. So again, another reason why it's better to kind of maybe build this beforehand, because if you notice here, it's pulling up a blank screen. Well, I do have a, a template there. And if I go ahead and hit save and exit, it says there's an error trying to save it, okay? So if I exit out and hit save changes, it also can't do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click discard changes. But now what's interesting is it actually still pulled it in. Okay, so that's the point I wanted to make to you. See, so it actually worked even though it said it didn't work. I can't edit it or save it, but it is putting it in here. Uh, so it is a little glitch in command right now. Uh, but again, if you go build the design first, that email template first, then you can pull it in and it'll actually work just fine. All right, so then I have options here to save it as a draft. If I wanna come back to it, I can schedule it for later to a different day, okay? And it tells you basically two hours from now to 12 months from now, edit them up to two hours before their scheduled date time. So you can see that it's basically going to queue this up to be sent later, which is kind of a nice feature. So I can choose when exactly I want it to go, or I can just go ahead and click send. So that is how 
we send an email campaign in command. If you have any questions on that, by all means, you can reach out to us at team at